How's it going, guys? Oh, yeah, James. How's it going? See you again. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what we were showing. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. It's a boy, it's the end, man. It's like almost a decade, eight films. Isn't it yep. sad? Yeah, it is. It didn't actually sink in uh, like when we finished our first, when we finished the last day. It's kind of like, oh, that's that's it. But then this is the last. This is the last day for me, and it's uh, it's quite surreal. I'm quite. Uh, I think I'll be showing a tear at the end of the day. I think. Uh, I think it's just testament to everyone in the cast because if anyone's ego were to ever have got too big, everyone else would be there to shoot it back down and keep you on the feet. So we, we are literally just one big gang of mates, and I think that's what that's what helps it. So, uh, but I think because we're so close to it, we're not aware of how big it is yeah. apart from obviously. To turn on days like this, and it's just amazing. I mean, the last two films were more emotional than the others. Did that emotion sort of naturally pour out because you, you could feel that you were coming to the end? Of um, I don't think so. I don't think we really understood what was going to happen with the whole thing until, as James said, until we got out of the car here today. Because um, everyone's talking about how it's the last time. And when you're filming and you're still thinking, oh, yeah, we'll be back for reshoots, which we were. Um, but yeah, I mean, now it's all in the can, it's all ready to go. It's really starting to, yeah, I'm going to yeah, get a bit of a lump in the throat time, I think. Yeah. I mean, which for you in particular was the best film? Which for you was the best experience? <coughs> I will always say The, gob uh, the Goblet of Fire, uh, because then, like, that's when you really see Fred and George really mucking around, but really like wanting to be a top dog kind of thing, and we did quite a few stunts in that movie, didn't we? That's, yeah, that's really we did fun. a lot. We did like falls from the ceiling and everything. And, I mean, the stunt guys are great. Like They really know what they're doing and their stuff, so we always felt safe doing it. Yeah. I mean, it's been years since I think we've seen the premiere of this sort of size and calibre. I think this is going to be a once in a lifetime in London and the world. I don't, I don't I mean, everyone loves coming to London for a premiere because we've got the squares. But say we have to move it to the bigger square, because <laughs> it's testament to the fan, to the the fans, the the movies, everything. Yeah. So and uh, even and they're not just just in the square, like they're all on the church steps, so almost like an old-fashioned football terrace, trying to see what's going on. <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing to be part of. I think uh, hopefully I'd love to do something on this size again. Yeah. Um, well, we're doing some of this. potentially some stuff individually. That's the that's the next the next step of the plan. But uh, it will, yeah, we'll always be available to come back together and work, work together again. Yeah, it has. We're, we're very fortunate to be able to share it with a family member. And I think that's what makes yeah. us quite, quite special with, in relation to all the other cast members. It certainly makes it easier when relating stories and stuff when we've been away to our family and everything. So it's, uh, yeah, because you know, if one of us forgets something, it's quite significant. It's good. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good one.